Skipping stones across the water, something many of us have done scouring the shore for that perfectly shaped rock, but what makes those stones glide? That was good technique there, I saw that. Yeah. Way to go, Keith. Well, at Utah State University in Logan, one professor is dedicated to uncovering the secrets, and he's probably one of the most easily excited physics professors you'll ever meet. Okay, yeah, so I'm an assistant professor here at Utah State University in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. My name's Tad Truscott, by the way. Tad Truscott. Yeah, that's the bummer, I don't know. Maybe the kind of name a superhero would use for a secret identity. Yeah, I don't think I'm as excited slash exciting as Tad Truscott. Tad's superpower? Oh, gosh. Science. He gets pretty jazzed about things. <laughs> Or maybe he's got the power of excitability. Oh, I guess I'm a super curious person. His passion sprung from the sea. I was really interested in sailboats, so and I love to sail. I planned on going to school to sort of study how sailboats sail and how to make faster boats. So maybe you can call him Aquaman. It works off pressurized there. He and his grad student slash sidekick Randy Hurd work here in this fortress of solitude called the Splash Lab. They combined their powers and built this. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Yes, that's our resident superhero <laughs> really laughing glad. away. This glorified potato cannon helps him study how objects interact with water. It's really fun for me to be able to dive deep into something and explore it. It all started with wondering how stones skip across the water's surface. You can squish it, and then each of the different ones we make has different amounts of elasticity. He learned flexible objects work a lot better than rocks when it comes to skipping. Boom! <laughs> oh. Slow-mo features on his cell phone aside, Tad's discovered the superpower of controlling time. We're basically able to slow time down. Using high-speed cameras, they're able to examine the results in detail. By taking more and more pictures per second, we're able to just play those black at a slower rate and be able to witness what happens. But the question most people ask is, who cares? The research has been funded by the Navy the whole time, so the past five years have been funded by them. That's the U.S. Navy. They don't share many details with Tad, but he sees applications in creating smoother rides for boats. So I could see it using something squishy to perhaps allow it to bounce on the surface and be out of the water, maybe more often than it is in the water. Six plus two, five, throttle down. Of course, many superheroes travel to other worlds. Tad says he can see his work helping us on voyages to the final frontier. The Apollo missions, about half of them flipped over. We're returning to that type of re-entry um, in the space programs. And liftoff. Even trips to new worlds, like NASA's planned mission to Titan, the mysterious moon of Saturn, which could boast seas of liquid methane. Currently, we use airbags to keep them upright afterwards. So there's an interest in having these things not flip over. A master of science. There's a nice splash crown that forms. The ability to control time and I set on outer space. That's super fun. <laughs> but for now, Tad's focusing on his original superpower, excitability. I love it. Yeah, this is, I mean, I have the best job. <laughs> I'm extremely satisfied with my work. It's always so great to hear when people love their jobs. And thanks to Tad and USU, as well as NASA for some of that video that you saw there. And if the name Tad Trescott is indeed a secret identity, well, it might not be secret for long because he and his Splash Lab superhero team recently published a paper on their findings and received coverage on websites like Gizmodo and Wired. Good for them. Well, think about the research the next time we throw a rock across a pond. Yeah. I know. I need to learn how to do that better for sure. <laughs>